I don't think that we suffer from the same insecurity that you guys suffer from. I mean, I think you're a very anxious person. Yeah, no, I, I think our age group, our generation as a whole, anxiety is on the rise. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've spoken about this before personally. Like, I worry about the tiniest things. And I think, um, I don't, I actually don't feel as anxious about being anxious, if that makes sense, since... Um, I feel like our generation online are very good at talking about our problems and that's one thing that I do kind of credit us for is we will be really honest about what we're going through. Mm. We don't try and hide anything and I think um, the conversations about anxiety and mental health across the board are, are helping us and not hindering us. So what do you do when you feel anxious about something? How do you cope with it? I guess I make sure that I'm looking after myself in lots of ways. So learning how to switch off because I think um, the nature of my career um, but also kind of having lots of different jobs and maybe freelancing or having like a side hustle, or like having lots of different things that you do, um, life and work really merge. Does and he... I think that's something that's maybe on the rise. If I asked that to a Generation X person, I know exactly what they'd say. They'd say clubbing and They'd say open and a doing bottle drugs. of wine. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I think that is something that... Uh, we know how to do that you guys don't know how to do. We know how to let go and experience joy. And joy is a really important part of life. And it doesn't have to be out clubbing and getting off your head, but it's the sort of metaphorical version of putting your hands in the air on the dance floor. It's finding mm -hmm. that simple moment in, I don't know, it might be a view on the top of a mountain or it might be finishing a run or, you know, it might be at the bottom of a bottle of wine mm -hmm. with a girlfriend telling lots of, you know, kind of crazy stories.